Good morning from the Finger Lakes National Forest. We had a pretty good rainfall this morning, early, early this morning, and uh, no new leaks. It's a good way to start the day. I'm gonna go make some coffee and not freeze out here. Shelby is making my coffee this morning because I don't know. I did something right. She's spoiling me. It's not really very hard. You just pour water. It's very challenging. There's lots of science involved. Uh -huh. The castle's here. First line on your uh, right. Park okay. right there and just walk back to it. Perfect. Thank right. you very much. Yep, have a good one. It's a huge campus. Holy moly. I've never been to a campus that you had to stop and get directions, and they had yeah. someone solely for that purpose. It's crazy. <laughs> this place is huge. I don't know all that much about Cornell, to be honest. Um, I don't know that much about American universities at all. Not really ever been something I've looked into that much. But it's cool. They got castles and stuff. So up there, there's like one of the world's coolest libraries, apparently up in that house so we gotta park pretty far away and then walk back but that's it that this bones. building looks really bizarre it's like so new and everything around it's so old yes we do like that okay here's that bridge that they showed us on the map this is a six mile waterfall they have a waterfall on their campus it's, it's a and six they mile. have a lake Six month creek or something like that, and that's the wall. So it's in a house, I guess. It's a big old house on the hill. Society for humanity. Huh. Alright, so apparently that's the wrong house. Um, it's a, a room in another library named after the same dude whose house this is named after. And it's over by the clock tower. Eurus Library. They got weird names for libraries. They have like 15 libraries Is here. Is it far from here? No. Uh, okay. We can walk. So it's in here, apparently. Also, Harry Potter's probably in here. No. A library is here, eh? Yeah, they just put a library on a library. A library here. Library. Library. Okay, I'm not sure I'm going to fit in this door. Oh, no. Okay. cool I think it's cool how the levels are basically just like oversized bookshelves like what we were walking on was the same material that was holding up the books and you know it's bolted to the walls and stuff but it's like a hundred year old cast iron like tubing and wrought iron pieces and stuff so I don't know it's just it felt very fire hazardy and that's what I loved about it I think how like it felt kind of dangerous but also like the coolest spot on campus to sit down and read there wasn't many people in there though no 
There's like yeah. two people. A little hidden secret, I guess. Uh, or maybe, I haven't seen many people at all on campus. Yeah. I assume a lot of people go here. Well, it's Easter Monday right now, so everyone is probably back visiting family and stuff like that. Not studying right now. I kind of like the one in Baltimore better, okay. but it was different. It was like that. That was like what the president's library. Yeah. President of well, it's what? Named after the first president of this of Cornell University. Yeah. So did it have to do with like what he studied and stuff? Not particularly. Hmm. Sam is making breakfast again. Thank you. Mm-hmm. You're very welcome. This morning for breakfast is the exact same as yesterday. <laughs> like Groundhog Day. We had the same thing. Is today a new day or are we just reliving yesterday? I Who knows? Know. I'm wearing the same thing. We're eating the same thing. Hmm. Champ's doing that weird thing that he does with his with his sniffer and his and his stuff. And his wagger and his wagger. It's probably just the same day, but it still looks Scrambled tasty. Day. Good breakfast. It was very delicious. Got the puppy now. The puppy, the puppy, the puppy. I'm gonna go for a little walk. Right, dog? The problem is now Champ's been everywhere, like all over North America. He's a well-traveled dog, and it's just harder to impress him. I'm like, Champ, you wanna go for a walk at a waterfall? And he's like, eh. Champ, you wanna go hang out at one of the premier universities in all of America? He's like, eh. He's just mad because he didn't get to go to the library. Did you get the keys? This is BP Lake, or Beep, or Beeb. Actually, I have no idea how to pronounce this lake. But it's a little lake. It's called I, Beeb. I, oh, I didn't see the name. Yeah, gotcha. Beeb or Beep, okay. something like that. It's just made by the dam. Ooh, ducks are nice. Wow. Look at all those, those are concrete like foundations. That's crazy. Yeah, it's like an old mill. Actually, a power station. And the power line's going to it. Neat. And it goes down here. And there's more bridges and more waterfalls. Okay, goodbye, Cornell. It's been really great. Campus is pretty, but you know, Harry Potter did it first, so like, no big deal. Whatever. Uh, Bye. I think Cornell's probably been here way before Harry Potter. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs>
and Tim Hortons. I want to get a coffee. I don't even like Tim Hortons coffee, and I just want one right now. That's crazy. We're back home already. We're home. Well, we are only uh, we are crossing the border tomorrow, so this makes it real. Tim Hortons. It's really here. I'm so excited. I'm really home. I don't know why I'm so excited, but it's, I am. Because nothing nothing is more Canadian than Tim Hortons. M Mountie riding a moose having poutine, and he'd be like, yeah, but it's not as Canadian as a Tim Hortons. <laughs> Thanks for sharing that. <laughs> uh, this looks like every single Tim Hortons ever. Oh, I get champ. That one's my favorite jam, the honey cruller. Don't can't go wrong. I want to get Champ some old fashioned glaze. Don't get him. He's a dog. He doesn't need any donuts. He does. Because you turned a corner and he fell and now he's sad. So he needs something different. I ordered it as a double double and they knew what I was talking about. So, success. Okay, Champ, what's this? What is this? Nice day. Okay. <laughs> I fell. <laughs> I know, I fell. Oh. Good boy. So for those of you who don't know, Tim Hortons is a staple of the Canadian road trip. You always stop and you get your Timmies. So whenever we were driving somewhere with Champ, I would always go in and get him the old fashioned Timbits. They have like no nothing, no coating on them, no nothing in them, no like chocolate or anything. And I would give him those. And it's like it's like, you get like 10 of them for like a dollar, so you have to give them. You have to give them to Champ. I should say, actually, you get 10 of them for a loony. A loony, that's true. Yeah. So you're taking me to a children's museum? I'm a giant child, I'm sorry. Um, no, this is the inner, this is the National Museum of Play, also known as the Strong Museum in Rochester. And they have huge collections of all toys and video games ever. So, um... We're gonna see that and take a little trip down memory lane. Uh, you know, it's a little bit trip further down for some people than for other people, but that's okay. <laughs> Let's go check out some toys. Weird. No, the guy at the counter assured me that I'm not weird for wanting to go to a kids' museum. But I think he has to say that. I don't think so. We also got wristbands, like we're going to a fair and we're eight years old. <laughs> you were actually in Sesame Street. The little kid's like, Elmo, come out! <laughs> There's my childhood right here. This is my first gaming video console. Not Maybe a console. single kid in here has ever seen this before. Wow, this is the original Duck Hunt. The Donkey Kong. Come on, play Donkey Kong. I don't know if it lets you play. Are you ready? Oh. The first ever arcade game. Space computer. That's gaming gold right there. Yay! That's fix it, Felix. Ralph, and then he would fix the stuff. I can't even hear you. I can't, I can't even 
This is like, this is insane. So windy. Still fighting Poseidon himself in the form of our steering wheel, which as you'll notice is blue and filled with fury. Uh, the van is trying its hardest to get into the ditch. I feel like half the time I'm on two wheels and then the other half the time I'm on the other two wheels. So the wind just keeps going back and forth, back and forth. Just knocking the van all over the place. So windy, the lights are dancing. Beautiful dance. We are behind the Walmart here. We've got Wi-Fi, so we're doing a lot of work, um, but I'm gonna start making dinner. Um, we've been burning up the battery bank so much and there's no sun out today. So I just had to start the car back up again just to charge it back up. So when it's charging, but it's only at 12.9, that's when you know you're low. Um, I'll probably wait till this climbs up to like 13.5 or 13.7 and then you know, I'll call it quits then. I think then the bulk of the charging will be done. And then it's just because it goes, it goes a little bit of charging at the beginning and then a lot of charging in the middle and then a little bit of charging at the end. So it's right in that middle spot where you want to, where you can do bulk charging and put in a lot of amps into the battery bank at once. But um, it's not worth waiting around for the last bit. Good night, Shelby. Good night, Jim. Good night. Good night.